Hello, good morning, people. This is Brother Keith from Jesus is Lord Fellowship, and I am here to do the virus versus versus. Um, I want to talk a little bit about prayer. Um, you know, I'm trying to make this video short, but you know, it's obvious in the time, the difficult times that we are living in today. Um, we're living in a day of uncertainty. You know, just thinking about a year a year ago from now, you know, many of us was going about our days, um, working our regular jobs, um, having uh, many gatherings, going to uh, special events, engagements, and then this pandemic happened. And now, you know, it seems like things have changed. And, you know, where every day, you know, something new happens and it's like we're living in uncertainty every day. Our kids are home from school most of the time. Now we have the opportunity to, you know, really spend some time with them, find out what's going on with them, um, help them, you know, deal with certain things that you know what they what they think about this whole pandemic so in the times that we're living in you know it's real it's really important for us to be consistent in prayer to really seek god for who he is you know we may not always understand everything that that's going on why it's happening but we always have to remember that god knows god knows why everything is happening and we just have to seek God's face every day to do his will and to uh, remain prayerful because we're all going through something. Whether we believe it or not, you know, we're, we're all going through something. I'm, I'm going through something, you know, my wife, my kids, you know, friends, family members, we're all going through something. But this is definitely the time, the times that we're living in is you know, seeking God's face to find out who he is to us, um, you know, because many, many people need hope and our hope is Jesus Christ. So I just want to read a little bit of verse, a little bit of verses. I'm going to read from uh, Philippians, Philippians chapter four, verse four. It says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. You know, um, you know, it's definitely important for us to continue to see God's face because um, times like these really help us recognize some of the things that um, we might have been getting wrong or some things that we haven't been noticing about ourselves and about people. You know, even 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 now, you know, I'm 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 learning to appreciate the small blessings. You know, uh yesterday I was kind of feeling a little, you know, down about something and just me working. Um, you know, I was unloading my truck and somebody, you know, was like, Hey, you know, what do you need? I'm about to go get your coffee. And I'm like, what? I didn't even know this guy. He was like, I'm about to go buy you some coffee. How you like coffee? And I was like, oh, okay, you know, cream and sugar. And just the small things like, I was like, I began to thank God. Even, you know, it's so funny. It's like, even in the midst of what's going on right now, God is still moving. God is still moving. I was sitting there just thanking God. I was like, you know, God, thank you. You know, thank you for still having people who are just so nice and kind, you know, I probably wouldn't have been thinking about, you know, that just going out, but this guy did. And sometimes, you know, in the midst of chaos, you know, God still reveals himself, himself through people. 
And that makes you realize, you're like, you know, I wasn't even thinking about that. But thank you, God. I probably wouldn't have thought about doing that. But thank you, God. Sometimes, uh, you know, people's kindness kind of make you feel guilty a lot. Like, you know, I, I should be doing, you know, doing a lot more. I could be doing a lot more. And I believe sometimes God allows things to happen to show us what we could be doing, what we haven't been doing, and what we shouldn't be doing. So, you know, at times like these, prayer is, is important. And it allows it allows God to reveal himself through our, our, our storms. You know, when you ask God, you pray, you know, Lord, show me what am I doing? What what should I see? You know, what every day when we go through stuff in our lives, our, our question should be, Lord, what am I supposed to learn from this? I don't know why I'm going through this. I don't know why I don't know what's going on, but Lord, what am I show me what am I supposed to learn from this? And you know, Every situation that we go through is an opportunity for God to reveal himself through sit, through circumstances and through people. So I just want to read a little bit about prayer. Uh, this book I've been reading. Try to be quick. It says, what is prayer? Psalm 145, 18 says, the Lord is close to all who call on him. Yes, to all who call on him in truth. Prayer is a conversation with God. It is simply talking with God and listening to him, honestly telling him your thoughts and feelings, praising him, thanking him, confessing your sins, and asking for his help and advice. The essence of prayer is humbly entering into the very presence of Almighty God. Psalm 38, 18 says, I confess my sins. I am deeply sorry for what I have done. First John, verse uh, First John chapter one verse nine says, "If we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness." Prayer includes confession of sin, which demonstrates the humility necessary for open lines of communication with the almighty, holy God. First Samuel, uh, first Samuel chapter 14, verse 36, uh, says, the priest said, let's ask God first. You know, even, you know, certain decisions that we, we make in, you know, uh, whether moving, uh, starting a new relationship, jobs, you know, we want to, you know, these times right, like these really make you like start praying that, you know what, let me ask God first because, you know, I made so many mistakes without asking God and without inviting God into my business. Now, I, you know, so much stuff happened in my life. I see why some of the stuff happened because I wasn't really seeking God face. So let me really start praying. Let me pray and ask God first and see what he wants. He want to do. He want me to do. Uh, second, Second Samuel chapter fifteen nineteen says, David asked the Lord, "Should I go out to fight the Philistines?" You know, he prayed and said, "You know, Lord, you know, you think about you know what all David was going through, and you know, King Saul was after him, all this stuff, and and David had a lot of opportunity. God gave David a lot of opportunity." He, David had a lot of opportunities to address certain situations that he didn't, and it showed his obedience. You know, he was like, you know what, I could handle it this way, but I'm going I'm to I'm pray about it first and ask God. Prayer is asking God for guidance. Prayer, you know, every day. In the times that we're living in now, it should definitely make us want to pray and ask God, you know, I know a lot of us were just getting up, going about our business every day, not even seeking God face, going to work, come on, do whatever, not praying over your food, not spending time with your family. And now, during this pandemic, now, you know, people been dying left and right now, and it makes you want to, you know, you know, God, I don't know what's going to happen today, but Lord, uh, give me today my daily bread, Lord God, guide my footsteps. Lord God, help me to recognize some of the things or some of the areas of my lives where I'm lacking 
you know, and, and help me, you know, show me where I could do better. And even coming home, sometimes I'm like, well, God, thank you, I made it home. You know, thank you, I made it home safely. You know, the times that we live, you know, we may not like it, but there's always a purpose in something. Um, prayer is asking God for guidance, then wait for his direction and lead him. Psalm 9, verse 1 to 2 says, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. Prayer involves praying. Prayer involves praising your mighty God. Um, so that's a little bit of what I want to give today. And, uh, you know, this today is the, you know, the virus versus versus. So I, I hope that I was able to bring some encouragement. And I pray that y'all have a blessed day. All right. Bye-bye.